My name is Scott Gonerman, a farmer by Waco, Nebraska, fourth generation farmer on our farm. Uh, we've been no-tilling and for 10 years and planting cover crops for seven. And the thing I like about the field we're in now, this small grain, that gives us an opportunity for a lot more diversity. We can plant a high diverse cover crop in July and let it grow till the it winter kills and some of it will grow until the next spring and then that way we're feeding our soil biology a lot better and and uh, this gives us a great opportunity to to improve our soil health and by doing that we can reduce our inputs and pretty much maintain our yields that we've had and increase our profitability. Yeah, when we was conventional farmers uh, farming, our water infiltration rates was about a half inch an hour and uh, we did some water infiltration testing a couple of years ago and we was able to infiltrate two inches in seven minutes on our tougher clay soils. So well, some of that is due to our zero disturbance where we don't disturb any residue or any soil. But I think the bigger part of it is our cropping diversity, plant diversity getting more living roots in the soil and when, when they decay it lets the water out which lets the water in, the, lets the air out of the soil so the water can go in. And that's been a major deal. Last year I put on 65 hundredths of water with my pivot on my soybeans and an inch and a half on my corn and that's probably only a fourth of what my neighbors put on. So just by having good water infiltration and keeping the soil covered so it doesn't dry out really helps our water efficiency, which really reduces our, our uh, input costs as far as irrigation goes. Well, this year we started something new. We bought a INJ roller crimper from Dave Brandt in Ohio. And we're letting our cover crops go to flowering stage and then we're going to crimp them down and then we're going to plant into that which uh, is going to put our planting about a month behind where we normally would but we think the benefits of the soil uh, will offset if we do have a little yield decrease because of our late planting and I've had pretty bad luck trying to kill weeds the last few years with herbicides so this is our burn down and our first and our residual application will be done by rolling down our cover crop so we're going to eliminate one spring in the spring and if we can get enough biomass out there we might be able to eliminate uh, herbicides altogether if we can if we get enough biomass to lay down if it lasts long enough till our crops get canopied that's our goal is to eliminate herbicides altogether and we uh, since we've been planting our cereal grains and our high diverse cover crop mix and we got a corn soybean small grain cover crop rotation since we've been starting that practice, we've eliminated the use of GMO seeds. We don't use any seed treatment, and we haven't used any insecticide or fungicide for seven years now, so or six years now. So that's really cut back on our cost. A bag of seed cost me corn seeds about $145, $150 a bag. And I think for the GMO traded stuff, it's about $275 a bag or so. So we really have a big savings in our seed cost just because of our cover crops and our high diverse cropping system.